So I'm back recording again after what was sort of a, I don't know, a, a difficult weekend in certain respects. It was okay. I'm, I'm not mega, mega real. I just, my main problem is I've got a very, very sore throat. And I got up this morning, did a school run, and then thought, well, I want to do the studio tour because I just got so excited to share it all with you. And of course, you can see the changes over here and you can see the changes over here behind me and you can see the changes over here behind me in the full length video which will have gone up the day before you're seeing this video and um, I, after I did that school run I took some honey and did the video for the studio tour and then my throat was so sore again so I didn't want to pick up Penny and do more recording so it's actually uh, just after lunch and I've just finished editing and uploading the studio tour, so that's gonna be going on the channel very, very soon. I hope you all like it. I really do like the changes I've made, and um, it's, oh, it's so difficult talking, but let me just sit down. I think I've made uh, some good changes, actually, to this area here, because it just works a little bit more. The only thing I'm questioning is that with the, sort of this M table, let me just show you. This is sort of what I'm questioning at the moment. This M table and then the drawer on top does make the screen quite high. So I've like tilted it down quite a lot and I'm finding I'm looking up at the screen, which I don't think is very good. So what I might do is I might take this drawer out and put the drawer to this side and then that'll lower the Thunderbolt display quite a bit. And then I'll see if the drawer works over here with this um, loft stand on top of it but that's that's the plan anyway with that area i think it looks really nice i'm really pleased actually at how tidy it looks and uh from when you saw the studio tour of course you would have seen the uh, birthday cards go back up on the shelf over there which i removed for the studio tour uh, but it was my wife's birthday a few days ago which was uh, a really nice day uh, and then i came down with this sore throat so i had a, a, a few days off over the weekend and I don't want to talk to you about it too much in the videos because I like to keep all the videos positive. But the last sort of two, three weeks have been really, really difficult. Um, I've suffered a lot of losses in my sort of personal life and it is a difficult time. But moving on, I, I do love getting back to recording. I missed the few days that I was recording and... Um, I guess it's just because I'm so passionate about the technology and sharing the information that I just really did miss it. But I did spend a lot of time watching YouTube videos, which was great anyway. So it's now early evening and you guys and girls have got to tell me not to buy this. I'm addicted to cameras and I've been looking at this on the iPad, uh, the Nikon 1AW1. Now I've always been tempted to purchase one of the Nikon One Ranger cameras. I tested the Nikon One V1 and the Nikon One V2 and they were both really good. This one is waterproof and even though I probably won't use the waterproof capabilities of it, I just am addicted to cameras and I want to try it. I think one of the things that sort of tempts me to give one of these a try is the styling I love for a start. It's also very good for video. It's got both contrast and phase detection autofocus in it. The only thing with this waterproof model is that it doesn't have an external microphone socket, but it does have sensitivity adjustable microphones uh, either side of the lens here. Now, I could get the Nikon 1 version 2, but that's been out for about a year, and I tend to prefer to get sort of newer models when I'm buying cameras. But I've got to resist the temptation to get another camera in. Uh, I would use it, but I think because I'm not being sent it as a review product, I'm, I really must resist this temptation. The cameras that I buy in, obviously I use for production of the videos. All of the other ones are sent in for review. So um, just tell me in the comment section, say, Dave, behave and don't buy another camera. So that's it, another day. And it was actually a good, good day. I think the only negative thing is that I overdid things talking wise because my throat is very, very sore again.
but let me not bother you with my problems. The day ended up very good actually. I got an awesome email. I can't tell you the details of the email, but uh, if everything works out and comes to fruition, it's gonna be absolutely epic. So I'm very, very excited about that. My evening is watching some telly, basically, and relaxing. I'm gonna watch the Gadget Show, Channel 5, 8 p.m. Mondays, and it is the only tech show on UK TV worth watching. Thank goodness it is worth watching as well. It is absolutely fantastic. I really enjoy it. Uh, not only do I watch it, but I record it as well. And sometimes, uh, don't hate me for this, but sometimes I watch it twice. Uh, Jason Bradbury, John Bentley, Rachel Riley, and Pollyanna Woodward, of course, do an epic job. And it's just very entertaining. Not only is it informative, like I hope my videos are, uh, but it is entertaining as well. And it's nice to see their views on gadgets and tech from different people as well. And also a female perspective is also a really refreshing change, actually. So, in closing, thank you very much for taking the time out for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for hitting that like button. I hope everyone who's watching this is having a fantastic day and has a fantastic evening as well. And I'll see you all again in tomorrow's video.